Hello everyone, Yojo here again today, and I am here to address uh, specifically Louisiana as a state and the dropping crime rate. Now first of all, I'd like to say congratulations. Um, as far as Shreveport goes as itself, we are at the lowest um, city crime rate in like two or a lot of years or something like that. You know, everybody's really proud of themselves and patting themselves on the back. But um, what I don't like is how all the thanks went to the police force and uh, like Crime Stopper civilian units. Uh, I think that a, a big special thank you should go to people that uh, just don't commit crimes. I think that's a very more important part of what's going on here. Not the police as a collective and not the the crime stopper people you know just people that don't commit crimes in general as a matter of fact if you haven't committed a crime all day pat yourself on the back give yourself a good old pat there if you haven't committed a crime all week kiss both your biceps if you haven't committed a crime all month give yourself a big hug and if you haven't committed a crime a whole year all this whole the whole pat from here on Till like this point last year you have not committed one crime go masturbate just put this on pause and go masturbate right now and then come back you deserve your own special I haven't committed a crime in a whole 365 days masturbation session right now now moving on um it's just I don't like that people take the credit for things that they kind of did and didn't do it's like you know it's, the police to some degree i can't totally speak for the police they're all right some of them you know not all of them are bad and the crime stopper thing you know more power to them but it's like if we don't think about how some crimes can be prevented I mean, there, there's nothing that you can do against a person that wants to commit a crime but some people are desperate and it's like we're putting everybody into the same category which really isn't fair to them criminals aren't born they're made and with it's like the opportunities that are available in certain situations have these have certainly ha sometimes have unfortunate options that would be the quickest and most convenient way to do things and of course still get things done now if we had maybe some more opportunities maybe some more rehabilitation centers more recreation centers just people that are bored and need something to do that would that in itself would decrease the crime rate in a much more um what's the word you know just much more make things much more lax on on everybody else like you know the police would you know have more time to do whatever fill quotas for holidays or whatever and you know it pretty much it really give a whole lax feel to the area because you know <clears throat> people would just be occupied I mean, more occupied i mean you, you can't stop somebody from committing a crime if they want to but you can give people the alternative to you know, be able to get a job, just be able to have something to do in general, have some volunteer programs, have some recreation centers and, and things for them to go to than to commit crimes. That's what some of it's about. And I just wanted to say that. Everybody have a nice life.